Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. God made the earth and everything in it for us to be rulers over it, okay? Right. We supposed to rule the earth and all the nations is supposed to be up under us. Right. But since we didn't do that, God said, now these curses are going to befall you, okay? Huh? Right, the nation that he chose. We read in Deuteronomy 76 that we was chosen above all the other nations that God created. Okay, but uh, but being that, given that, uh, given that, that those credentials, it's responsibility that come behind that. And the responsibility was for us to teach the nations on how to live. But we fail, and now you're reading about the curses that fit us, and this is how we know that we are in fact the children of Israel. When you see a sign, what does that do? It marks it out. It marks it out. It separates U.S. footwear from Metro uh, T-Mobile across the street. So these signs is what identify us today as the nation of Israel. As you continue to go through the curses, we resonate with all the curses that God put upon us today. This is how we know we are the children of Israel. Read. And for a wonder, uh -huh. and upon thy seed, and upon your children, read, forever. Uh -huh. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God. Why? Because thou servest not the Lord thy God uh -huh. with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. So it's saying, because you serve not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and gladness of heart. Read. For the abundance of all things. The abundance of all things is meaning that God made the earth and everything in it for us to be rulers over it. Okay? Right. We both the rule of earth and all the nations is supposed to be up under us. Right. But since we didn't do that, God said, now these curses are going to befall you. Okay? Huh? Right, the nation that he chose. We read in Deuteronomy 76 that we was chosen above all the other nations that God created. Right. Okay, but uh, but being that, given that, uh, given that, that those credentials, it's responsibility that come behind that. And the responsibility was for us to teach the nations on how to live. But we fail, and now you're reading about the curses that fit us, and this is how we know that we are in fact the children of Israel. Okay, so read on. We're gonna get some more. Therefore. Shalt thou serve thine enemy? So it says, since you don't want to, the Lord says, since you don't want to serve me, um, you're gonna have to serve your enemies. All right, read. Which the Lord shall send against thee uh -huh. in hunger. And what? In hunger. In hunger. Read. So, so, um, who do we have to go to? Who do we have to go to to get our food from right now? Talking about the blacks. We gonna keep it at that right now. To get our food, we got to go to the stores. Who own the stores? Different, different, different people. Right, so this would be a curse to put on who? The nation of Israel. This is how we identify what we know and we the children of Israel because we the ones who have to go to the other nation and get other and get our food from them. You understand? Read. And in thirst. And in thirst. If we want water, we have to go to the nations to get water. Okay, read. And in nakedness. And if we if we want to buy clothes, we have to first work for the nations and then we have to buy the clothing that you have on. We don't own the textiles that make it. Although we may own a brand, but we don't own the uh, clothing stores or the textile stores that, act, that actually have to make the, uh, the clothing. Read. Right, read. And in one of all things. And, and in one of all things, all right? So when you talk about one of all things, that's talking about what? Uh, 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 your education system. Who set that up? Who set the curriculum up? What people set that curriculum the government, up? The government, the government which is what nation of people? Government. Right. Okay. The government. So if you want a death certificate, who, who, um, if you want a death certificate, who we get that from? You got to go to the, the government. You got to go down. The government, right? If we want anything we say in the one of all things, read. But it's going to tell you which nation of people that we actually serve. It's going to get specific right here. Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. So this, this particular nation put a yoke of iron upon our neck. Who did it? Huh? Oh, princes, what nation of people did it though? What, how they look? They Caucasian. They come from the they come from the Caucasian race. You agree with that? That's look at the signs right here. Who put? Who did this to us? Right. Both of us. I'm saying who? What? What Both nation? Both of us. How you? What, what do you mean? Both of us. What do you mean? The the in the translated slave trade, the northern tribe captured the southern tribe. 
and gave them over to the white folks. What do you, what you mean the northern and southern tribe? You're talking about over, what? I, over, in, over in the land of Africa. No, 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 no. So remember, we just went over there, we were who? We are different from the Hamites, right? No, I'm talking about, we we talking about the the slave trade that came from over in Africa. Oh, we're talking, we talking about the 1619 transatlantic slave trade. When we came over here in, in that time frame, who did that to our people? White folks is the one. Okay, the white here. folks did it, right? White folks is the one that brought us here throughout the globe, but they used our own people. No, they did. No, they didn't. Yes, That's they no, did. no, they did not. But they used Africans, real Hamites, was the ones who they uh, read about. We're going to go to it in a second, but I want to continue to answer your question. I'm going to deal with that. But I want to ask you an initial question because you said, how do we know? We, let's continue to go over these signs real quick. Go to Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Because you said, how do we know that we the Israelites, right? Now we're reading about the curses or the signs that should be upon the nation of Israel, right? Give me that. How, do we get, how did our ancestors get over here to the uh, shores of America? They were brought on ships, right? Read. Book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. With ships. What? With ships. So it's talking about the nation of Israel said, the Lord shall bring thee where? Into Egypt. Into where? Into Egypt. So the word Egypt is synonymous with uh, slavery. Okay? Or bondage. You understand that? I, I know. I understand. You understand that? I understand that they correlate with each other. Right. So it's saying the Lord shall do what? The Lord... And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With what? With ships. How do we get over here to the shores of America? With ships. So this is how we identify ourselves as the children of Israel because it was also stated that our nationality will be taken from us. It also said again, too, so that means that it had to happen twice. Right. And we remember, what, historically, where has this taken place at? This is we just being free from uh, Egypt, physical Egypt. Which was, what was the state of the Israelites in Egypt? They were slaves. They were slaves. Right. So that's what, that's the first time. Now he's telling me it's going to happen to you again. Right. But this time you're going to go away on cargo slave ships. That is our history. At this time, this was prophecy. You understand? So this is how we identify ourselves. But we can go all day through the curses, showing you that they line up with our history. This is how we know that we're the children of Israel. You understand? I hear you saying that. You, but th did you hear what the Bible said? I, I, I hear, I hear, I hear once, once again, I hear again. I heard again. Again. About what do you the, mean? First time is with the first time is when we was physically in, our ancestors was physically in Egypt as slaves. You okay. understand that? Do you agree with that? I, I agree with that. So that's what it said. Again means what? Is you, you going to be in slavery again? Go back to Egypt again. This time with what? you saying this by mind. I didn't say it. No, 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 no. No, no, no. you saying by mind in slavery and bondage. And here it's saying again, so it's representing the same land. Right. That it would be in Egypt. It's no, this is Egypt. No, no, no. It said, but this said we would be in uh, ship and what? And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With what? With ships. So if it's, we can't, if we already leave in Egypt, do, do we need ships to go back to Egypt? Do we need slips, ships? Huh? This is not Egypt. Right. But, but this, no, this, this is not Egypt. This right. land mass is not Egypt. Exactly. Period. Exactly. And we came to this land mass and ship. We also went to uh, Haiti and Jamaica and all over the place in ships. Okay, so read that. Exodus 14 and verse 13. This is book of Exodus chapter 14 and verse 13. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show to you this day. For the Egyptians whom you have seen today, ye shall see them again no more forever. You hear that? Read it again. And Moses said unto the people. And Moses said unto the people, the church of Israel, read. Fear ye not, and stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord. And see the salvation of the Lord, because we was being delivered from the Egyptians. You hear that, bro? Read. I'm here. Which he will show to you today. Uh -huh. For the Egyptians to whom you have seen today. Uh -huh. Ye shall see them again no more forever. You hear that? It said, you shall see or be under the hand of the Egyptians no more forever. So when you go back to Deuteronomy 28, it said we would be in the Egypt again, but it wouldn't be under the same Egyptians. What people would it be under? We're reading out of the Bible. 
it was the so-called white man, brother. It said you were going to Egypt again on slave ships. You got to understand slave ships. When we was taken on slave ships, no other nation was taken there. Except for us, first and foremost. And we was there, we was taken, and we was uh, sold as slaves. Is that, is that not clear to you? I'm hearing what you're saying, but at the same time, once again, this is not Egypt. Right. At all. But, it's, but what, was, what, what is our estate here? The scriptures say that we would not see the Egyptians any longer, again, any longer. So, of course, we are not going to see the Egyptians right. any longer. So, this is not Egypt. Right. Period. It's not right. Egypt. Right. So then, therefore, who are we? Who we are as slaves to? Because we're not slaves to those Egyptians. Egyptians. Because this is not Egypt. This is not Egypt. Revelation 11 and 8. Read. Revelation chapter 11, verse 8. And their dead bodies. And the children of Israel, dead bodies, read, shall lie in the street of. Shall lie where? In the street uh -huh. of the great city, uh -huh. which spiritually is called Sodom. And Egypt. That's talking about right here today, brother. It says when you examine when you examine our people, who get who? All right, that's, and that's the two out. witnesses. No, that's not the, the two, two witnesses. witnesses their bodies be left no, 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 no. Listen, brother, I need you to listen. Listen, it said, read it again. And their dead bodies, so the, our dead bodies, the children of Israel, read, shall lie in the street of the great city. The great city is America. So, so you can understand, you you heard of uh, George Floyd, right? George Floyd, Sandra Bland, Tamir Rice, all those things. I say our dead bodies shall lie where? And the great city is talking about America. Read. Which spiritually. Which what? Which spiritually. Which what? Which spiritually. Which spiritually is called what? It's called Sodom. It's called Sodom because America pushes gay laws. They say it's okay to be in Sodomy, in the Sodomites. Read. And Egypt. And it's also Egypt because we are, we was. We were in the same, the same estate that our ancestors was in in Egypt. We were in here as well. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Strong in the Lord!